Let's all stand up as we sing this song.
Welcome everybody as we again study the Word of God. Let's begin with our declarations now. Okay, remain standing. Don't take your seat. Remain standing please. Reading together now. I declare God's incredible blessings, abundant provisions, and divine health over my life. I will see an explosion of God's favor and goodness, a supernatural increase and promotion. I will experience in every aspect of my life the surpassing greatness of God's favor. I will enjoy a deeper level of spiritual relationship with my God as I constantly grow in the grace and knowledge of Jesus Christ, my Lord and my Savior. I declare God's wisdom, guidance, direction and protection in my daily life. I am full of God's grace and anointing of the Spirit to live according to His plan. I will obey God's call for my life and fulfill my God-given purpose and destiny. As I experience God's abundance and prosperity, I will remain faithful, devoted, and dedicated to Him in worship, prayer, and being a channel of His love to others. Amen. Tayo po'y manalangin, Panginoon, salamat po sa iyong gabay, sa iyong panguna, sa muling pangungusap mo sa amin sa pamagitan ng iyong salita upang kami magabayan kung paano namin lalakaran ang destiny na inihanda mo para sa amin. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, ito pa aming samot na langin. Amen. Amen. You can take your seat now. Now, march into your destiny. Chart out your direction. Ang una pong ginagawa, before we go to a certain place, bago tayo umalis ang bahay, usually ngayon, eh, meron tayong uh, ways, ano po, chinecheck natin yung direction natin upang malaman natin when is the right time and the best time na tayo po'y umalis, ano ang sitwasyon ng traffic, ano ang mga ka kaharapin natin along the way, and ano ang time of uh, arrival natin dun sa ating destination. In, in a sense, we are used to charting out directions, lalo na ngayon. I could not imagine nung pong panahon namin uh, na wala pang cellphone. Ano po? Ah... Uh, May telepono, pero pagkatapos mag-usap sa telepono, halimbawa ang magde-date kami ni Pastora, magkikita kami sa Cubao, ay isang oras la oras lamang po, alas dos, magkita tayo ron. Kung paano ka pupunta at kung anong oras ka, anong kahinatnan mo uh, ng traffic, we, you don't know. Saan kayo magkikita? Yun lamang po ang direksyon. Pero ngayon, mas detailed na po. We are used to... Uh, using yung app natin, yung ways, at mas nabibigyan tayo ng tamang direksyon kung ano ang best route na dapat nating tahakin. Ano po? Now, that's the same way with your destiny. Saan ka ba papunta, kuya, ate? Ano ba ang patutunguhan ng buhay mo? Dapat alamay natin yun. Dapat kung papunta tayo sa point A, dapat ang direksyon natin ay hindi papunta sa point B. Kung papunta tayo ng Divisoria, hindi po ba pwedeng papunta tayo ng Pasay. Dapat po consistent ang direksyon natin doon sa ating destinasyon. Amen? So chart out your direction. John 14, 1 and 2, sabi po ni Jesus, Sa kanyang mga alaga, do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. My Father's house has many rooms. If that were not so... Would I have told you that I'm going there to prepare a place for you? See, when God came over, hindi lang tayo binigyan ng isang buhay na ganap at kasi siya. Hindi po, binigyan tayo ng katiyakan na merong patutunguhan ang buhay natin. Merong lugar para sa buhay ng bawat isa sa atin, di lamang dito sa lupa, kundi pagdating natin sa langit. So it's a, it's a destination. It's a destiny. I will prepare a place for you. And that place has certain directions. Verse 3 and 4. If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Mahira po sa atin na sabihin ng Panginoon kaya na merong lugar na pupuntahan tayo, pero secret po ito. Hindi naman niya ito sasabihin. Pero ang sabi ng Panginoon, you know the way. Everybody say with me, 
I know the way. If you know the way, then you can certainly reach your destination. You know the way to the place where I am going. Why? Because in our destiny, Jesus is our trailblazer. Jesus has paved the way. He prepared the way for us. Upang sa gayon, sa paglakad natin, di tayo maliligaw, di tayo mawiwindang. He will just simply guide us that in this life, ang kalooban po ng Panginoon ay masumpungan natin ang ating uh, ang layunin ng Diyos sa atin, which we call destiny, or in other words, sa Tagalog, yung destination po natin to the place where God wants us to be. Amen? Thomas said, verse 5 and 6, John 14, Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Crucial sa mga disciples for them not only to be assured that there is a place that God has prepared for them. Importante rin para sa kanila that they know the way, right? So how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Now I understand what, how, why Jesus said, you know the way. Because the disciples already knew Jesus. Kinilala nila si Jesus bilang Panginoon at kapagligtas. And since Jesus is the way, then it simply means that they also know the way. The way is not a, a process. The way is not just a procedure. The way is about the person of Jesus Christ. So sa atin po, malalaman natin ang landasi na dapat nating lakaran. Ito'y nababatay sa ating personal na relasyon sa Panginoon. Yung po yung pinakapundasyon natin. It's not just, it cannot be separated sa ating relasyon sa Panginoon. So if you know Jesus, you have a personal relationship with Him, you recognize Him as your Lord and Savior, definitely you know the way. Because it's not just Jesus who will show you the way, but the Holy Spirit will tell you where to go. The Holy Spirit will reveal to you yung planuhin po ng Panginoon para sa buhay natin. So, uh, actually, it's not just a place. It's about the person of Jesus. The way is in you. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And through Jesus, we can come and go to the Father. Amen? What are the things we need to learn here? March into your destiny. Chart out your direction. First thing, choose the right path. Piliin mo ang tamang landas na dapat mong lakaran. Bawat umaga, meron po tayong pagpapasya kung pa, how we will spend our life for the day. Ilagay natin sa araw-araw lamang. At kung paano natin uh, ginugugol, nilalakaran ng bawat araw, ito po, it's either my contribution ito o napapalapit sa ating destiny, sa plano ng Panginoon, or ito po ay maglalayo rin sa atin. So it's very crucial na umpisa pa lang, piliin mo na ang tamang landas, tamang direksyon na dapat mong lakaran. Kahit po mag-waste kayo, bibigyan kayo ng waste ng iba't ibang choices. Ito po ang oras kapag uh, route A, ang pinili mo, route B, ganito naman. At uh, nasa atin ang pagpipili. Kahit na po parehong time of uh, arrival, ang uh, ibinigay doon, nasa inyo pa rin ang pagpipili. So God will not take away from you the right to choose. So you choose well. Sabi nga po, every day of our lives, meron tayong pagpipili, you choose blessings or curses. You choose death or life. It's about your choice. Importante po ito. Paths that people choose. Ano po yung mga landas na nilalakaran? Anong konsiderasyon nila kung bakit sila lumalakad sa landas na napili nila? One is commonly proven and accepted. Ito po ay uh, uh, subok na uh, based on experience of other people dahil ito ay nakita nila kay tita, kay tito na umulad ang buhay at uh, ito ang kursong kinuha niya, uh, yun din ang kursong kukunin ko o yun din ang direksyon ng buhay ko. We pattern uh, our choices of the paths of life that we choose depende po sa experience ng tao. 
At kung ano ang uso, ano po, yan ang common. Number two, convenient and easy. Yung pinakamadali. You know, may, alam nyo, ang tao kasi may tendency tayo na palaging pinipili natin shortcut. The short way. And the short way may not necessarily be the right way. It may be convenient and easy, but not necessarily right and correct. Right? So, that's why ito po yung, ano ka po ba ang tawag natin sa mga sari-sari store? Ang tawag po dyan sa English, convenience store. All in one. Huwag ka pumunta sa palengke, dyan ka na lang. Sa sari-sari store. Ano po? Kasi pinaka-convenient yan eh. Ganon din kung magkaminsan kinukuha natin ito sa uh, prinsipyo natin sa buhay. Kung anong convenient? Fast food. Sa mga fast food restaurants. Ang ino-offer po nila is more on convenience. Okay? Mga supermarket or uh, department stores. Tapat convenient yan. May aircon, merong magandang parking space, uh, maraming mga facilities na available para sa lahat. In fact, marami pang lounging area ng mga drivers, you know, lounging area ng mga VIPs. Lahat po yan. Dapat convenient and easy. That's why people would like to take this path. Third thing, considered beneficial and advantageous. Tinitingnan nila, ano ba ang uh, pagnilakarang ko yan? Mapapaayos ba buhay ko? Mapapabuti ba? Parang ano ang, uh, ang purpose mo sa sarili mo? Yun po yung titingnan mo na maaring beneficial para sa iyo. Or advantageous. Uh, maganda ba yan? Uh, masarap bang lakaran yan? Maayos naman. Ano po? And number four, controlled outcome. Ayaw nating pasukan o lakaran ng isang bagay na di natin alam ang patutunguhan natin. Na uh, walang gaanong traffic, walang gaanong problema, uh, walang uh, coding, ano po. Uh, maraming factors. Eh, at itong pinakamaikli na daan, makatipid ka sa gasolina. Those are things that we consider. But is this, uh, are these things, dapat po ba ito ang pagbatayan natin? Pag-aralan po natin. Proverbs 4, 26, 27. Give careful thought. Or read together now, sabay-sabay po tayo. Give careful thought, watch carefully, be vigilant to the paths for your feet, and be steadfast in all your ways. Do not turn to the right or the left. Keep your foot from evil. Now, in this verse, makita po natin, how do you keep your foot from evil? In fact, sabi nga po rito, isang paa lang, nag ka na. Pag tumapa ka ng isang paa mo, nag ka na, it's either for good or for evil. And I would like to uh, define what is evil in this context. If you choose not the path of life, if you choose not the path of God, it is definitely called an evil path. That's why ang sabi po, give careful thought. Watch carefully. Be vigilant. Kasi una, hindi tayo sumusunod sa uso. Pangalawa, hindi rin lahat ng mabuting landas natin ay madali at konbinyente para sa atin. At kung magkaminsan, kung tama ang nilalakaran mo, sometimes you will come to realize, ikaw lang ang mag-isa. Malungkot na mag-isa kang naglalakad dyan. The majority does not determine correctness. It doesn't mean that you are in the right path. Kahit ikaw lang mag-isa, kung yan ay patungo sa, uh, sa Panginoon, yan ay uh, landasin ang kaharian ng Diyos para sa iyo, at yan ay pagkatawag sa iyo ng Diyos, kahit ikaw na lang mag-isa. Kaya mo yan, Dudong. Magpatuloy ka. You know what? About uh, 10 years or 15 years ago, or 20 years ago, someone, when I was in Davao, someone prophesied to me, ang sabi niya, you will fly like an eagle. But remember, as you fly your destiny like the eagle, you'll find out that you are all alone in the level that God will place you. Wala kasi ang, ang eagle daw po. 
it, it soars to the highest uh, place in the heavens. That it's not afraid of heights. It's not even afraid kung siya may kasama o wala. Sa buhay po natin, ito po yung paninindigan na dapat nating panghawakan. Na hindi lang palaging may kasama. Hindi mo pepeding palaging kasama ang katropa mo. Give careful thought. Kahit ikaw lang ang mag-isa, subalit alam mo na ito'y patungo sa katuparan ng planuhin sa iyo ng Panginoon. Go ahead, be. Go, girl. Go, boy. Amen? Your, your journey may be lonely, but don't be afraid. God is with you. Okay? That's why be careful. Mag-ingat tayo. Kasi isang hakbang lang, yun na po yung desisyon natin. Do not turn to the right. Or the left, keep your foot, not feet, foot from evil. Just one step is enough for you to experience negative things and negative situation. Give careful thought. Why? Because Matthew 7, 13 and 14, enter through the narrow gate. Read together now. Enter through the narrow gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction. And many enter through it, but a small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life, and only few find it. It's your choice. You want destruction? Go the easy way. Go to the broad road. Go to the wide gate. But if you want life, it may be small, it may be narrow, but at least it will lead to life. Ano pong sinasabi rito? Hindi po lahat ng patungo sa buhay na wala hanggan, hindi lahat ng landas sa iyong paglago sa buhay spiritual ay madali. May mga bagay kang uh, mararanasan. Okay? Tulad din niya ng tema natin, boldly possessing the promises of God. There will be giants in the promise, you know? In the land, there will be giants, there will be... Uh, World fortresses, okay? Mga lungsod na matitibay, muog na matataas. But it doesn't matter when God's presence is with you. If it is the path, yun ang landas na itinakda ng Diyos sa'yo, so what? If there is a river, you will walk through the river, you will not be drowned. You probably will get wet, but you will not be drowned. If it is a mountain, you know, you can speak to the mountain, that the mountains be removed. Hin ang buhay po ay hindi lahat masaya. Sa buhay na ito, tan tanggapin na natin yun, hindi lahat madali. Lalo na kapag spiritual ang pinag-usapan natin. At sa landas na nilalakaran mo, pag spiritual na, dyan mo malalaman kung sino talaga ang kasama mo. Sapagkat sa spiritual, kahit kaibigan mo, pag lumakad ka patungo sa Panginoon, maaring iwanan ka niyan. Amen? So, ang relasyon natin sa Panginoon ay pinakapundasyon ng ating paglakad sa Kanya. He is the way, you know? He is the truth and the life. It, take care of your relationship with Jesus. Okay? So that sa mga pagpapasya natin, sa paglakad natin sa bawat araw, palaging nasa sentro natin. We fix our eyes on Jesus who is the author and finisher of our faith. He is our trailblazer. I say at 30, 21 now, whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. Hindi po sinasabi rito, this is one of the many ways. Ah, uh, This is the, the way. In the same way as Jesus is the way, not the one of the many ways, but He is the way, the truth, and the life. Okay? So this is the way, walk in it. The moment God reveals to you the way, it's now your responsibility to walk in it. Okay? And God will see your heart, whether you have the willingness to obey or not. If you do not have the willingness to obey, useless po na kahit uh, magkabilang Tenga ay mangusap siya. You will hear the voice. If you will not obey that voice, it will not benefit you in any way. 
So whether you turn to the left or to the right, remember, make sure you hear a voice saying, left, die. <laughs> My boy, turn to the left or turn to the right, girl. God will never fail to speak to you. Why? <laughs> Ang Diyos po, hindi tayo bibiru-biruin. Nasasabihin niya, oh, turn to the la- right, ha? Eh, yung right pala natin towards destruction. At nung nakaranas tayo ng destruction, ay, sorry, ha? Joke lang yun pala. No, God is not joking about your destiny. God is serious about your destiny. But the question is, are you willing to walk in it? Are you willing to step into your destiny? Level up na po ang mensaheng ito para sa atin. So what? Matagal ka ng kristyano. But the question is, sa tagal mong pagiging mananampalataya ni Kristo, ikaw ba'y lumalakad sa planuhin, sa layunin, at pagkatawag sa iyo ng Diyos? O hanggang ngayon nagtatanong ka pa, meron bang patutunguhan ang buhay ko? I go back. Go back to the Word of God. Dapat magbasa pa rin tayo ng salita ng Diyos para malaman natin, may magandang plano ang Panginoon. Right? In fact, alam na niya ang finish line natin. Or in other words, alam na niya ang destination natin. But as we are still here on the earth, we take one step at a time, one day at a time, in obeying and hearing the voice of God. God will never fail to guide us into the right path. We need to decide whether we walk in it or not. Tayo po ang magpapasya. Ilalatag sa atin. Hindi tayo pipilitin. Tanda natin, hindi ka kakalad ka rin ng Diyos. Upang sundin mo ang kanyang kalooban at lakaran mo ang kanyang planuhin sa buhay mo. Hindi po, hihintay niya ang readiness natin. At ano ang readiness natin? That's what you call spiritual maturity. As we become spiritual mature, doon natin nakikita na it's worth obeying. Uh, uh, the path, the plan of God is worth doing. And we are not afraid anymore. Hindi na tayo natatakot. Ano kaya ang kahinatan ng buhay ko? Paano na ako? Paano na ang plano ko. You see, when you are spiritually mature, it's not about you now. It's about God. God becomes bigger and self becomes lesser and lesser. And that, that's the time na tayo po ay mas madaling mag para sa Panginoon. Okay? Ang tanong natin is, uh, ano ba ang meron ako dyan? Ano ba ang mapapala ko dyan? Tapos sa po ang question na yun, binigyan ka na ng higit sa anumang mapapala mo. Binigyan na tayo ng buhay na ganap at kasiyasiya. At ito ang nais ng lakaran natin. Psalm 32, 7 and 8, For you are my hiding place. See, that's the right perspective. Ito po yung pananaw na dapat dito tayo nag-uumpisa sa ating pagsunod sa Panginoon. For you are my hiding place. You protect me from trouble. You surround me with songs of victory. The Lord says, I will guide you along the best pathway for your life. I will advise you and watch over you. But you can only receive the advice and the watchful eye and guidance of the Lord. You will be able to appreciate that He's leading you into, best, into the best pathway if you are so sure and if you have made that commitment to recognize the Lord as your hiding place. That you trust that the Lord will protect you from any trouble along the way. That He will surround you with songs of misery. No, with songs of victory. Amen. You, he will, you will sing along the way. Amen. Tayo pong mga Pinoy, pag tayo masaya, ano po, kahit mag-isa, nasa TV, ah, nasa jeep, naglalakad, sumisipol, kumakanta. Ako ay isang Kristiyano. Alam niyo po, doon sa subdivision namin, may mga pinagagawang mga bahay, ano po. Natutuwa ko pagka nagtatrabaho sila yung rap ng Tagalog ng mga in love. <laughs> Naisip-isip ko tuloy, saan kaya yun na da-download? At habang naririnig nila ang kanta, ay sila'y ginaganahan, ano po. At meron pong ginagawang bahay a month ago, may ginagawang bahay puro na ang kapitbahay niya ay merong baby. So, nung malakas ang radyo, malakas po yung patugtog nila ng mga rap ng Tagalog na mga love song. Ano po? 
eh, pinagsabihan sila nung may-ari ng homeowner at sinabing, huwag namang malakas, dahan-dahan lang. Sabi may baby rito eh. So, ang ginawa nung mga workers sa halip na rap ng Tagalog, uh, uh, baby songs ang... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sabi ko, mautak din to. Ay, hindi na sila pinipigilan kahit malakas dahil mga nursery rhymes, nursery songs, kasi pang baby yun eh. Ano po? I will guide you along the best pathway. And when the Lord guides you, there are times you just simply have to take one step at a time. Sometimes you cannot see what is ahead of you, but you can have the hope a good expectation of your ending that it will be good. Okay? You know that when God guides you, you will end up in the best place. You will end up in a best career. You will end up in a best relationship. Because that's who God is. God desires the best for you. And before you can reach your best future, you have to walk through the best pathway. And you cannot expect to come out the best if the pathway is wrong. Ano po? Hindi na inconsistent po yun. So ang sabi ng Panginoon, I will guide you along the best pathway for your life. Okay? Sabihin mo sa katabi mo ngayon, God will guide you along the best pathway for your life. Si hindi lang inassure tayo, best pathway ang lalakaran mo. Hindi. Ang sabi niya, I will advise you. Kasi kumisan, namamali tayo eh. Kung makaminsan, lumilis tayo sa kaliwa o lumilis sa kanan. I will advise you. And I will watch over you. Kasi alam din niya na sa ating pagtahak sa plano ng Panginoon, may mga sitwasyong nakakatakot, nakakapangamba sa buhay natin, nababalisa tayo, but He will watch over you. To let you know that His presence is with you, He will never leave you nor forsake you. Right? Amen. So number one, ano po ang number one? Choose the right path. Amen. You choose the right path. Decision mo yun. Ilalatag ng Diyos sa iyo kung ano yung tamang landas. Ikaw ang pipili at ikaw ang magdidesisyon na yan ay lakaran mo. Okay? At may magandang plano ang Diyos sa buhay mo na itong nais niya na makamtan mo. Amen? March into your destiny, chart out your direction. Number two now, cling with the right people. Ito yung palagi nating sinasabi, choose your company. Cling with the right people. Okay? By the way, kung pipili ka ng magiging karelasyon mo, makakasama mo habang buhay, pumili ka ng makakasama mula sa church. Pero piliin mo pa rin yung mature. Amen. Amen. Hindi lang yung mature, ha? kundi mature ang piliin mo. Cling with the right people. Proverbs 27.6 Faithful are the wounds of a friend who corrects out of love and concern. But the kisses of an enemy are deceitful because they serve his hidden agenda. Now, sa atin, find a friend. Okay? Find a friend. Call a friend. But make sure that friend is really a friend. Pag yan ay palaging, oo, oh, oh, yes, very good yan sa'yo. Na wala nang, that's why sa atin, we get offended when people correct us. But you have to consider, is he a friend or an enemy? If he is an enemy, he will just let you go your own way. Na kahit alam na niyang kapahamakan ng iyong patutunguhan, ay sige lang, dudong. Ah, uh, Sundin mo, follow your heart, you know? Follow your heart. Yan po yung theme ng Walt Disney, follow your heart. Okay? No, the heart of man is actually deceitful. But God uses people around you, friends, okay, who will tell you honestly kung ano yung bagay na maaring masakit sa pandinig, sa puso mo, sa damdamin mo, pero sila'y magsasalita rin. You know, sometimes kami po ni Pastora bilang mga pastor, sometimes we speak uh, with sharpness, but always in our hearts, we speak out of love for you. We love you that much that we can say to you, No! 
That's not the way. This is the way. This is God's way. Amen? And we take, uh, we, we take the chance. Okay? Whether we will be misunderstood or not, but if in our hearts, ang motibo po namin is because we are saying this because we love you, then so be it. We are uh, willing to suffer the consequence, but uh, at least kasama namin ang Diyos. Amen? Si Jesus nga pinako sa krus eh. Kami pa. Amen? So, find a friend. Yang katabi mo ba? Friend mo yan? Kinokorek ka ba niya? Out of love? Concerned ba siya sa'yo? Ay pag friend mo na pinababayaan ka lang na mapahamak ka, walang sinasabing advice man lang sa ikabubuti mo. Kapatid, gising ka. He's not your friend. Probably, he's an enemy disguised as a friend. Amen? So, find good friends in your life. Find iron. Iron man? No. As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. In other words, sabihin na natin, find an iron man in your life. So that the iron will sharpen another iron. Okay, so Noah, so one person sharpens another. Ito po yung nakita kong quotation, Surround yourself only with people who are going to lift you higher. Or dinagdag ko po ito, and make you a better person. Palagi mo sinasabi, if you want to have a friend, make sure he adds value to your life. He makes you a better person. Alam nyo, kung ako kami tatanungin nyo, Pastora, pastor, kami po'y bagay ba sa isa't isa? Ha? Magandang tanong yun. Ano po? Happy Valentine's sa inyo. Bagay po ba kami sa isa't isa? Ito po ang sagot. At alam ko ito rin yung sagot ni Pastora. If he or she makes you a better person, then he or she is the right person for you. Pero kung dahil sa kanya, ang laban na ito ay para sa kanya at napapabayaan mo ang ibang aspeto ng iyong buhay, hindi ka nagiging maayos na anak, hindi ka nagiging maayos na empleyado or whatever aspect ng buhay mo. Lalong nalalayo ka sa Panginoon, sa iyong relasyon sa Panginoon, palagay ko, the answer is no. He or she doesn't add value to you and make you a better person. So find iron man in your life because iron sharpens iron. Okay? 1 Corinthians 5.11 Very uh, clear po ang salita ng Diyos when it comes to choosing your company. 1 Corinthians 5.11 You should not associate or cling, in other words, with people who call themselves brothers or sisters in the Christian faith. But live in sexual sin, are greedy, worship false gods, use abusive language, get drunk, or are dishonest. Don't eat with such people. Very strict po ang Panginoon. Why? Because bad company corrupts good character. Okay? Anong value ang ma, maidaragdag nila sa iyo? E, worshiping false gods? Palamura, use abusive language, palainom, they get drunk and are dishonest. I'm saying this without any apology because whether you like it or not, this kind of people will affect you. That's why strict po ang Panginoon. Don't even eat with such people. Hindi ka naman umiinom pero kumakain kang kasama nila. Whether you like it or not, maapektuhan. Okay? They will rub their evil deeds in your skin. Mahawahan ka rin. Kahit po ang virus, kala mo wala lang. Abay maligo ka. Kasi hindi mo alam kung ano ang kumapit sa katawan mo o sa damit mo. E ano pa kaya itong mga bagay na ito? Nalantaran na maling gawain. Ano po? 
Hebrews 10, 24, 25. Instead, ito po yun. Let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another. Ano po yung spur? Yung San Antonio Spurs, di po ba? Mahusay kayo sa NBA eh. Ang spur po, yun yung nakadikit sa boots ng isang cowboy. Hindi po siya yung kawawang cowboy. Uh, nakadikit po yan sa boots at meron po yung spike. O di kaya yung bilog, yung ring. Uh, ano po, na may mga spike-spike. Para malaman ng kabayo na kailangan niyang to give encouragement na siya po'y tumakbo ng mas mabilis, i-spike po niya yung tagiliran ng kabayo. Ano po? So, that's, uh, in, in, in essence, a spur is something that, uh, a thing, an object that gives encouragement or incentive. Ano po? Ito po yung dapat daw na gawin natin. Let us consider how we may spur one another. Hindi po yung magsaksakan, hindi po yung mag... Uh, uh, masakta ng bawat isa, hindi po. To give encouragement toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together. Amen. Ngayon po, bukas na ang ating iglesia sa face-to-face -face worship. However, mag-register kayo. Sapagkat habang dumadami po ang nagpapa-register, then probably we can think of uh, providing you another worship service. So, Yung po yung bagay na nais natin. Okay? Pero huwag kayong, uh, yun, samantalahin nyo na mag-register muna kayo. Not giving up meeting together. Kaya nga po gusto kong mag-face-to-face -face, uh, meeting na tayo ng worship kasi mahirap pong masanay sa online. Ano po? Kasi pag nasa online, nakakapagkape. Nakakapagkape at pandesal at habang nagbe-breakfast ng Jollibee. ay pwedeng manood at habang nasa kama at nakahiga, pwede ring manood ng online worship na hindi na kailangan pang paulit-ulit po sinasabi, hindi na kailangan pang maligo o mag o whatever. No, no preparations necessary. But when we come face-to-face -face meeting in worship, ay kailangan namang maisuot nyo yung mga isang taon ng nakalagay sa baul. na mga damit natin at sapatos na mag -e expire na ang swelas nito. But we come meeting together to encourage one another. See, there is an encouragement that happens kapag tayo po'y nagmi-meeting, nagsasama-sama. Di ba ba? Kung may barkada ka, sino ang mas barkada mo? And I like to exhort the parents Kung nais nyo na ang mga anak nyo ay may mga barkada, kung sa barkada at bargata lamang, hayaan nyo magbarkada sila sa church. Ang barkada nila ay yung kanilang care group. Di ba napakagandang bagay po yun na alam natin na ang pinag-uusapan nila ay hindi mga chicks. Panahon namin yon. Hindi yung mga ligawan-ligawan, hindi po. Ang pinag-uusapan nila ay salita ng Diyos. At sa care group po, you will find friends. Friends who will be tough on you. Friends who will say things that you may not like, but they will still say it because your leaders love you. Na, you know, hindi sila magkukunwari na kala mo kaibigan, kaaway pala. Hindi po. We encourage one another. Amen? Become wise by walking with the wise. You find wise people in the church. I say this without any justification. Wise people, you find them in a church. Because who are the wise men? Those who seek God and those who regard the word of God as the truth and, and as the authority to govern and to guide them sa buhay po nila. Become wise by walking with the wise. Hang out with fools and watch your life fall into pieces. Obvious. Ano po? Pag sinamahan mo yung mga hangal, ay mapapahama ka. Ano nga asahan mong tamang desisyon ng mga hangal? Ay di ka hangalan. But the wise, yung pong mga marunong, 
sa Panginoon. Kaya sila ay naging barunong, nilakaran nila ang tamang landas ng Panginoon para sa kanila. Yung tamang daan, hindi dati. Sabi po rito ni Booker T. Washington, Associate yourself with people of good quality. For it is better to be alone than to be in a bad company. Amen. Tingnan nyo yung katabi mo. Is he a person of good quality? You know what? Nung una ko pong si Pastora, by the way, yan lamang naman po ang love story ko eh. Nung si Pastora po, siya ang aking uh, Bible study leader, care group leader po namin. Siya, puro po kami lalaki at siya yung aming uh, Bible study leader. At ang sabi ko sa sarili ko habang siya ay nagtuturo, nilagay sa puso ko, gusto kong maging kaibigan siya. Kasi ang sinasabi niya ay maayos. Ang itinuturo niya ay maayos. At siya ay may paninindigan sa kung ano ang tama. So, early na kami nagkakilala, alam ko, she is a woman of good quality. And because of that, I found iron woman that has sharpened me as also one iron man. So, iron sharpens iron. Amen. So, if you walk with the wise and you can find people, at least, you know, there is a uh, work in progress pa rin po yung iba sa atin and when, when it comes to walking in wisdom. But at least there is wisdom. Kesa naman zero wisdom na nasa mundo. Ano po? So I would rather, personally, I would rather take the risk of walking with those people in the church. At least they have a sense of wisdom. Whether little or uh, or much wisdom. Amen? So number two, What's number one? Choose the right path. Number two, cling with the right people. Importante po yun. If you want to walk in your destiny, piliin mo yung tamang landas at tamang mga tao na magdadala sa iyo, tutulong sa iyo. Hindi po maglalaglag sa iyo. Amen. Sa mundo, pag maayos ang daan, maganda ang sitwasyon, sama tayo. Pag nagkaroon na ng problema, nagkaroon na ng uh, pagsubok, laglagan na to. Ano po? Hindi. Sa Panginoon, hindi tayo lalaglag. Kung siya, kung nais niyang pumunta ka sa kaliwa, pumunta ka sa kanan, you will hear a voice. Amen? If you just have a humble heart, a teachable spirit, you will hear the voice of God. So number three now, check the right priority. Sa buhay po natin, marami tayong mga alalahanin, marami tayong mga nais gawin. At ang tawag po nito sa Tagalog, Priority. Check the right priority. If there is a right priority, there is a wrong priority. Sabi po ni uh, E.M. Gray sa kanyang essay sa kanyang book na The Common Denominator of Success. Ang sabi po niya, he spent his life searching for the one denominator that all successful people share. He found it wasn't hard work, good luck, or astute human relations. Though these were all important, the one factor that seemed to transcend all the rest was putting first things first. Putting first things first. Amen? So, ibig sabihin, kung ano yung una, unahin mo. Kung merong una, meron pong pangalawa. Okay, if there's first, there is always second. But do not mingle the two together. Priority means first things first. Amen? Naalala ko nga kahit sa restaurant po eh. First things, ano yung pagka nilalagay sa freezer? First in, first out. Okay? Kasi kung first in, last out, panis na po yun. Mapapanis na, ano po. Kaya first in, first out. Last in, last out. Okay? So that's even even in food handling, meron pong priority. Okay? Luke 10.40, alam na natin ang kwento ito kay Mary at Martha. Ano po? 
it, it's, it talks about priority. Martha, but Martha was instructed. Nung si Jesus ay dumalaw sa bahay ni na Mary at ni Martha, ito po ang nag, uh, nangyari. Of course, they have to prepare something for Jesus. But Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. Siyempre, lahat po ng preparasyon, lulutuin, isasaing, eh hindi lang naman marahil isang putahe yun, marami pa. Ano po? So, na-overwhelm siya. Na-distract siya. Sa dami ng kaabalahan. Sa dami pa ng gagawin. So she came to him and asked, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do the work by myself? Tell her to help me. The moment you prioritize yourself, you will get distracted. Sapagkat pag sarili po natin ang inuna natin, ang uunahin natin ay ang mga bagay patungkol sa sarili nating kagustuhan, sa sarili nating diskarte, ano po? Of course, the Lord cares. But makita po natin ang tugon ng Panginoon. Martha, Martha, sabihin mo sa katabi mo, Martha, Martha. Bakit po sinabi ko yon? Sapagkat lahat tayo ay may tendency maging Martha. Maganda po ang pangalang Martha. Dito po sa kwentong ito ay hindi po maganda yung prioridad ni Martha. Right? Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, you are worried. Everybody say, I am not worried. I am not ups- uh, upset about many things. Di po ba, pagka tayo nag-aalala at naisip natin, ay naku, karami pang dapat gawin. Ano pong nangyayari? Parang naaabrido na tayo. You are worried and upset about many things, but few things are needed. Or indeed, ang sabi ng Panginoon, only one. Mary has chosen what is better. And it will not be taken away from her. Anong pinili ni Mary? Ang makinig. Sa paana ni Jesus. Makinig siya sa mga turo ng Panginoon. Okay? So I would say, if you want to check your priority, first thing, are you spending more time hearing the voice of God? Are you taking time to come before the presence of God to simply commune with Him in prayer and lift up your hands Mar hindi mo alam lahat ng lyrics ng mga kinakanta natin. But even so, just lift up your hands and just sing, I have this confidence because... Because what? Ikaw na magdagdag noon kung bakit ikaw ay dumudulog sa pangyayon. Because you are good, Lord. Because you are faithful. Because you are loving because you've been so gracious to me, right? So, spend time with God. One of the signs or expressions of a humble person is that he's willing to listen. Marunong pong makinig. Right now, you may be hearing this message, but are you simply hearing but not listening? There's a lot of difference between hearing and listening. Hearing is the natural ability to perceive sound. Naririnig natin yung sound, pero naintindihan ba natin yun? Naintindihan natin ang pagka tumataw lang aso, ah, may aso. Oh, tumataw lang aso, ah, may tao. Pero hindi taong tumatahol yung aso. Bakit na-process natin yun? Maaari kasing narinig mong tumataw lang aso, narinig mo lang tumataw lang aso, wala kang ginagawa. You are simply hearing. Pero kakaiba po pagka you are listening. Tumahaw lang aso, then you listen. Oh, ibang tahol yun ah. Tahol sa kapwa, aso niya yun. O tahol dahil may tao. Alam, alam nyo yan, di ba? Pag tumahaw lang aso, oy, may tao. Nakita mo na ba yung tao? Hindi. Narinig mo lang ang tao. Then you listen. Ganon din sa ating pakikipagrelasyon sa Panginoon. Ang sabi po rito ng Panginoon kay Mary, Mary has chosen what is better. And what is better? The only thing that she needs at the moment is to listen to the teachings of Jesus. To listen to the Word of God. 
You want to check out your priority? How much time are you spending in listening to the Word of God? Sana po sa pakinginig natin ng ating online messages ay hindi tayo nagsasawa na bago matapos ay pinapatay na natin. Nililipat na natin sa Facebook o sa Messenger. Hindi po tapusin po natin. Meron po, pakatapos po ng declaration, meron po tayong pagka-Sunday, meron tayong offering, pagka naman, at meron tayong response song. Importante pa rin po yun. Otherwise, hindi na namin idinagdag kaya. Hindi na, hindi na lang tayo nagkaroon ng response song, lalo na pag-Sunday. Ano po? So these are things that are very important. In fact, if you notice, sa ating online worship, you still have five minutes to prepare. Meron po mga ads doon. Ha? Hindi po, di, hindi po monetize yun. Yun po yung mga... Uh, those are something na nilagay natin so that you can prepare in advance. Na po yung tugtog doon sa, sa five minutes. Uh, pag naririnig ng aking apong si Kael yung gumagano na siya. Gumagano na po siya. Five minutes yun. Pag sina- clap your hands, clap, de- clap hands na naman siya. So, excited siya. Kayo kaya? Excited po ba tayo? O sasabihin natin, ang tagal naman. Kasi, nais po natin na pagdating ng punto na tayo po'y mag-worship na, ay ba'y ready na kayo? Okay? Pag sinabing tumayo, tumayo naman kayo. Ano po? Tatayo tayo. At mag-worship tayo. Right? You have, you remember this always, that you have the audience of one. Maaaring ikaw lang mag-isa, kala mo walang iba kang kasama, tama yun, ikaw lang nga mag-isa. Pero ang audience mo ay si Jesus. You are not worshiping because of the people around you, but you are worshiping Him because of the presence of God. In your midst. Amen? So, makinig po tayo. Matthew 6.33 Basahin po natin uh, bagong-bagong verse ito, mga kapatid. Okay? Basahin po natin. But first and most importantly, seek, aim at, strive after His kingdom and His righteousness, His way of doing and being right. The attitude and character of God and all these things will be given to you also. You do not seek things. You seek the owner of things. Do not seek the blessing. Seek the blesser. Sa mundo, it's foolishness. It's a waste of time. Sa prinsipyo po ng kaharihan ng Diyos is the best approach. Okay? It's the right thing to do. In fact, that's your first priority. Okay? Aanin mo kung lahat ng abilidad na sa iyo, mali naman ang prioridad mo. Windang pa rin ang buhay natin. But first, first na nga, most importantly pa, you seek, you aim at, and strive after. Ito po yung magbibigay sa atin ng katatagan. Na naman ang kaharapin natin sa pagsunod natin at pagganap natin, paglakad natin sa ating destiny o sa plano ng Diyos. Nothing can stop you. You become as bold as a lion. You become as strong as Samson. Okay? You become as fearless as David. Why? Because you know you are seeking the kingdom of God. You are seeking after His goodness, His righteousness. You are seeking after to possess His attitude and character. When that happens... You become immovable. You become steadfast. You become unaffected by whatever will happen. How do you seek God first? Spend time in God's Word. That's how you seek God first. I'm trying to say this not in a religious way, but in a very real, sincere way of just simply enjoying the Word of God. Not because it's required. Not because you need to uh, answer the family care group devotion. Hindi po, para mang dapat tumating tayo sa punto na pagkasalita ng Diyos, enjoy tayo. Excited tayo. Wow, Sunday na naman. Wednesday na naman. Makakarinig ako. 
ng salita ng Diyos. Amen? Spend time in God's Word. Enter God's presence in prayer. Okay? Just pray. Again, I'm saying this not in a religious way. Na dapat kumpleto lahat. Dapat, uh, you know, uh, maayos at uh, oh, alis kayo rito lahat. Labas kayo sa kwarto. Ako lang mag-isa. Oh, you, you can spend time in God's presence while you are in the garden of Gethsemane. Si Jesus nga, ano, he spent time in the garden. Spent time while you are uh, doing the laundry. He spent time in the presence of God. See, see, prayer has to be in the presence of God. So enter God's presence in prayer. Just keep your desires, keep your concerns in your heart. Na kapag tayo dumudulog sa presensya ng Panginoon, Lord, ito po ang mga concern ko. Just just guide me and lead me. Amen? Number three, S-E-E-C. Enjoy the fellowship or the worship with fellow believers. Enjoy po tayo. Amen? Kahit sa online, enjoy ka ba o bagot na bagot ka na? Okay? Tayo ba uh, parang nauumay na sa pagsamba? Natutuwa ko sapagkat uh, sa Pasay, dalawang linggo na po silang hindi nakaka-attend ng online worship natin. At ang response nila, ang tagal naman. Ang tagal naman bago kami maka-attend. O, ang ganda po nun, ano? O, di kaya, ang tagal naman ang sermon ni Pastor. Hindi ba ito matatapos? Lalo na si Pastora, nako, Panginoon ko. Nagugutong kami pag nagpipreach si Pastora. No, you just have to enjoy. Kasi meron pong pagsasama-sama eh. Sabi ko nga, I, we enjoy much of our time with you, church members. More than our own family. That's why if we have friends, you are our friends. Kayo po ang kaibigan namin. Wala po sa labas ng ministeryo natin. If we have a family, you are our family. Okay? So we treat you as our uh, kuya and ate. Okay? Kaya yung mga nag-asawa, nagka-anak, lolo ako nila. Tinatanggap ko na yun. Lolo ako ni Gail. Lolo, lolo ako ni Kale. At ang iba pang mga, mga bata rito, lolo ako. And I declare, yung mga anak ko, mga apo ko, mga genius yan. Genius yan sa Panginoon. Amen? So, that's, that's how we enjoy our fellowship and our relationship with you. Now, the question is, do you enjoy also our company? Remember, we are your friend. And as a friend, we, we will tell you the truth even though it hurts. Amen? Because we love you. Then, K, know how to rest in God. You know, you want, hindi po ito parang, sick God, ah, manggigil tayo, ala, sige. Hindi po, hindi naman yan madadala sa panggigigil eh. Ito'y madadala kapag alam mo na ikaw ay nasa presensya ng Diyos sa patang kanyang biyaya. Then matuto kang mamahinga sa kanya. That's how you seek God first. It's not about your effort. It's not about what you can do. It's about what He has done for you in Jesus Christ. Amen? So what are the things we have learned today? March into your destiny. Chart out your direction. First thing, choose the right path. Piliin mo, mag ka. Oo, maaari nagkamali ka sa nakaraan. Balik ka uli. Pwede ka namang mag uli eh. Right? Number two, cling with the right people. Who are the people that you go with at this time? Do they add value to you? Are these right people? Are these good quality people? Or tayo ba'y dinadala pa, palapit sa Panginoon? O tayo dinadala palayo sa Panginoon? And number three, check the right priority. Marami tayong mga bagay na gusto natin gawin, pero ang sabi po rito, dadagdag ng Panginoon ang lahat ng bagay sa atin. Pero unahin natin siya. Right? Seek Him. Ano nga yung sick? Spend time with God. E, enter God's presence in prayer. Another E, enjoy the fellowship and worship with other believers. And letter K, 
know how to rest in God. Oh, ang dali lang pala. Ano po? That's how you chart out your direction in terms of pursuing or marching into your destiny. Stand up with me now, people of God. Tayo po tumayo. And let's have this declaration. Reading together now. Today, I receive and believe God's word. So I declare, I am healed, I am restored, I am whole. I am strong in the Lord every day and in every way. Today, I stand strong in the Lord and in the power of His might, for He is my refuge and strength in times of trouble. Today, I receive God's perfect peace to guard my heart from any fear or worry, and I choose to rest and trust in the Lord Jesus. Today, I pray for wisdom, guidance, direction, and protection to our government leaders and agencies in solving this health crisis. Today, I plead the blood of Jesus to cover, shield, and protect me and my loved ones from this evil virus. Today, I choose to wait, hope, and put my trust in the Lord, so He will energize and refresh me with His strength, both physically and spiritually. Today, I release God's grace, peace, and blessing to the church and to our nation. We shall overcome, we shall prevail. In Jesus' name, Amen. Remain standing as we come to the Lord in prayer. Panginoon, salamat po sa iyong gabay, sa iyong panguno sa amin, sa mensaheng ito, na ito ang maghahanda sa amin upang malaman namin ang tamang direksyon ng aming patutunguhan upang maganap nga ang plano at kalooban mo sa aming mga buhay. Salamat Panginoon sa gabay at panguna mo sa amin. You will advise us, you will guide us, you will watch over us sa anumang landasin na aming pagpapasyahan sa bawat araw ng aming buhay patungo sa lalo pang mas malalim, mas matibay at mas matatag na pakikipagrelasyon sa iyo. Sa iyo po ang kapurihan, sa iyo ang kalwalhatian sa pangalan lamang ni Christ Jesus. Amen. Now lift up your hands and shout your victory. Jesus! And shout your praise. Hallelujah! I am your friend. I love you with the love of the Lord. You are blessed.